All right, we're here with Cookville Mayor Ricky Shelton, and we were talking about some of the great new changes that are happening with the uh, Cookville Christmas festivities. Yes, we're going to have a lot of fun this year. Yeah. Um, first off, kick off on December 6th, the Christmas Parade, which is traditionally for 49 years, has been on a Monday night. At um, 7, it's changing to Sunday afternoon, December 6th at 2.30 p.m., and uh, so we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. That's put on by the Chamber of Commerce. Beth Smith is the coordinator. Mm -hmm. Followed by at 6 p.m., we'll have our new uh, kickoff to Christmas in the Park, which is uh, the tree lighting ceremony will start at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, we ordered a 35 foot tall LED Christmas tree oh, that wow. will be synchronized uh, to music. Extreme Lightscapes out of Texas. They're putting together a great show for us that will be uh, there. The tree is over the fountain at Dogwood Park and the uh, arbors behind it will also be uh, lit with uh, garland and lights as well. Oh cool. So that starts at 6 p.m. Uh, take about 10 minutes and then that will be followed by a, uh, a Christmas celebration service which is a collaboration of 24 local churches and um, eight community school and uh, community choirs. Oh wow. So we're very excited about that. Um, that will start just, just following the tree lighting ceremony and then all that will wrap up at 7 p.m. And then each night from 5 to 9 p.m. Uh, there will be a 15 minute synchronized light show with a Christmas tree. So it'll play for 15 minutes and mm -hmm. five times a night. So where, uh, where's the music coming from? There are speakers in the park? There are speakers underneath the uh, tree. Okay. Uh, this is a mat, like I said, it's 35 feet tall. It's massive. If you can imagine the, the fountain that was there now, now is about 15 feet tall. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, quite a lot larger than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So what's been the inspiration for uh, some of these changes for uh, the festivities? Just, um, you know, more fun, family friendly things to happen in our town. Um, we did 4th of July celebration. That was mm -hmm. one of the, the things that I ran on as mayor to, to bring that to Cookville. And it was very, very well received. And uh, we, we started talking about what could we do for Christmas, something along the same lines. So uh, the council uh, committed the money to order this tree. And then in conjunction with that, all throughout uh, December, we'll also have Santa in the park on Saturdays and Sundays from one to four. And you can bring, children can come and visit Santa for free. And then we're really excited about December 26th through the 30th. So the five days after Christmas, we're bringing ice skating and a giant snow tube slide to Cookville. Oh, cool. It'll be very neat. First time ever in Cookville. Uh, it's going to be very affordable for, for families. It'll be $5 to ice skate or $5 for five slides on this uh, very large uh, snow tube slide. <laughs> it's 45 feet tall and 90 feet long. Wow. And, uh, and this will all be in the park? This will be on the uh, paved lot right across from the fire department. So okay. you look over at the park. Um, but yeah, it's a 40 by 60 foot ice skating rink. And that will be open 12 p.m. to uh, 8 p.m. each each day, those cool. five days after Christmas. So we're excited about that. We'll have food vendors on site, uh, kettle corn, coffee, hot chocolate, apple cider. And it's just going to be a really great time. Yeah, that sounds fun. Uh, so just a, a reminder to folks that I, I know we're used to coming to the parade on the square uh, or actually all, all along broad that mm -hmm. it's not going to be that first Monday right. after Thanksgiving. It's going to be on a Sunday, which I imagine is a little more uh, family friendly, friend, friendly because they're not having to worry about getting the kids ready together after school Monday. Yeah, exactly. We've talked about it for years. People have said, you know, always said, why is it on Monday night? 7 p.m. when uh, kids are, you know, you want to get them in bed for school, uh, for school the next day. So I um, had this idea that if we could combine it with this tree lighting ceremony and make it something really big, that it'd be fun. So the parade committee was willing to try that this year. And, you know, we'll begin at 2.30. That's after the churches. That gives you time to get there. And, and uh, probably last, it's going to be the same route. So it'll be on Washington Avenue to Broad Street and then over mm -hmm. to the depot. So the exact same route, just daytime instead of nighttime. Okay, and is there a website that folks can go to to get more information? There is uh, Christmas in the Park. Uh, there's a Facebook page for that, which is Christmas in the Park CKVL, and that has a listing of all the times on it uh, that you can track. And then also um, my uh, mayor Facebook page that I use, keep that updated as well, and it's facebook.com slash Mayor Ricky Shelton. And uh, keep all the activities that's going on in the city on there all the time, but we certainly have a lot about the, the Christmas holiday as well. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Thank uh, you. Mayor Shelton. Appreciate you having me. And we'll be back with more Discover the Upper Cumberland.
We'd love to see the Upper Cumberland through your eyes. So tag us in your pics on social media with hashtag DiscoverUC, and you just might see your shot on our next episode. For more info on this show and to catch your favorite segments, visit our website, wcte.org slash discover. Also, if you have any topic ideas, email them to discover at wcte.org. Thanks for joining us, and remember to get out there and discover the Upper Cumberland.